Android development is tedious AF, and heightened concerns about security isn't making it any easier. In fact, since API Level 23, Google has marked a group of permissions necessary to perform certain operations as dangerous. So instead of just requesting them in the Android manifest, you also need to request them at runtime, then you need to handle the result of the request, then you need to handle what happens when the user denies permission, then you need to handle what happens when they indefinitely deny it, but if the user's running Lollipop or earlier, you can't even do any of that. Ah! Luckily, some kind folks on GitHub have developed Permissions Dispatcher, and the even better Permissions Dispatcher plugin to simplify everything for developers. What's up guys, this is Eric Tech Tuts, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to request permissions at runtime using an app that sends a text message. First, let's open up Android Studio and create a new project. Now, I'm going to be zooming through a lot of this video just to really get to the important stuff. Once Android Studio is up and running, we need to install the Permissions Dispatcher plugin. So head over to the Preferences, Plugins, Browse Repositories, and search for Permissions Dispatcher plugin. There should be a green button that says Install, so click it and it'll install, and you might need to reload Android Studio. But after that, you should be able to move on to the next step. Now we need to actually set the permission dispatcher dependencies. So in your app level Gradle, add in these two lines under dependencies. Just like that. And make sure to replace the version number with whatever is the current version. Next, we need to add the permission in our Android manifest file. So open that up and use the uses permission tag followed by, you know, whatever permission you're going to use. In this case, I'm going to use send SMS. In this part of the video, I'm going to be quickly designing our activity. Basically, there's just going to be a button in the very center named BTN send with text send SMS. That's ultimately going to be sending our text message. Remember in the Java class, you need to declare and define the button as that specific resource. So go ahead and do that. Now for the button to actually do something, we need to set a new on click listener. So type btn send dot set on click listener new on click listener. And that'll auto generate a new on click method. We'll go back to the on click method in a bit, but first get out of the on create method, hit control or command N to bring up this window, and then go to generate runtime permissions. You should see this new window. Go ahead and check the permissions that pertain to what you want to do right now, and then check the methods you want to create, and give them names. Needs permission is going to be the main thing you're going to do right now. Then onshow rationale will, you know, show the user why you're requesting the permission. And then on never ask again will be whenever the user checks never ask me again, that you show them, yo, you told me not to ask you again, so I'm going to do nothing. Sorry. Go ahead and wait for that to build. It's going to take a while, so, I don't know, go ahead and check out some of my other videos, and then come back. Now let's save this into a variable so we can use the main activity instead of the onClick listener in the onClick method. Now in the onClick method, type main activity permissions dispatcher dot send message with check, and then as a parameter, temp. If you're calling it outside of, you know, a lambda or something like that, you want to use this. Now fill those methods with stuff that's appropriate for what they're designed for. So in this case, send message will actually send a string to that specified phone number. Then send message rationale will show a an alert dialog with a message explaining why you need the send SMS permission with an allow or deny button. And then send message never will show a toast saying you denied permission, screw off. I mean, it won't actually say screw off, but eh, you get the point. Just fill the methods with, you know, whatever you want, basically. So now let's run it on a device. Now, if we hadn't requested permissions at runtime, we would have gotten a fail error saying you know, permissions denied. And that's all because of Android's, you know, new permissions paradigm that you have to request those specific permissions at runtime or else everything fails. 
And that's on purpose. So let's just wait for this to load. So here's our app. There's our button. Let's click it. There's the message. Let's click allow. Now we should be receiving a text message shortly. Huh. What's this? Oh, and I ended up sending myself the beginning of the B movie. Hmm. Anyway, that's a quick video on the Permissions Dispatcher plugin. Hope it helps. Uh, be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and more. And I'll see you later.